What's your favorite time of the year to hunt? Early season, late season, or somewhere in between? I'm Matt Drury, and this is DOD TV. This segment of DOD TV is brought to you by HME ScentWeb, the scent and foam string that's 300% stronger than liquid and lasts up to five days in the field. If you're a country music fan, no doubt you've heard the name Dustin Lynch a few times on your radio. During the last few days of the 2017 season, Mark invited Dustin to join him at the farm and take a shot at tagging his first Missouri buck. After two days of no luck, he teams up with longtime cameraman Wade Robinson to try and get the job done. As Dustin would say, let's hope they're seeing red by the end of the hunt. Tonight we're gonna see red. Yes we are, here we go. Day three, it's warm, it's 17 degrees. We're on it though. This is good luck, I'm telling you. Stay tuned. We're very anal about how often we will go into our farms or uh, how much penetration we'll have and we're always trying to be the kings of lack of intrusion. So when it comes down to getting a deer out, there's always that decision making between what's going to cause more of a stir, getting four or five guys in there to make a big long drag out of there or do you just get in there, get him out and get out as quick as you possibly can. And there are some times where I want to be quiet if the season's still going on, but if the season has ended or if your tag is filled, or if he's in a especially tough spot, I think you're just as easy to get in there, take like a Can-Am Commander, Can-Am Defender, or even a four-wheeler, to get in there, get to that animal, load him up, leave the engine running, and then get him on out of there. I think that's one of the best things you can do in terms of limiting intrusion. Just get to the animal and get him out. We use them all the time, and it really works well because it speeds up that extraction so much more. You can get those deer out so much quicker than going in there with multiple guys and trying to drag them out. Because some of these Midwest bucks are real heavy, and it takes a machine to get them out of there. Just tell me when. Yes, sir. Dump, dump. 
this is a dream come true for me. The grand finale up in Missouri. Um, got this old bruiser today. The traditions put the smack down on him. Tell you what, I was addicted before. Late season hunting, I'm addicted now. Thank you, Mark. And we are seeing red. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yes! Yes! Come on with it. First Missouri buck, baby. You see it, Red? Oh, yeah. Yeah, congratulations. They are. Terry killed also. The grand finale. Yeah, baby. Come on. What a beaut. That okay. is a stud. Those G1s, though. I got to tell you, that's a cool old deer right yeah, there. Yes, oh, look at his yes. head. Yeah. When we saw this guy pop out, it's like, okay, that's a different kind of deer. That's yes, a stud. Is. First Mizzou deer, baby. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Congratulations, Dustin. Wow, so beautiful. happy yes, for you, buddy. Congratulations. Is that your old version of a combo hat? Yeah. Okay, all right. Right. I mean, this is it. Here, we this got is it all so we could do. You look like Greg Norman, not a cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> We're adding new videos every week, so make sure to click that subscribe button and check out all of our amazing content. This episode of DOD TV was brought to you by MOTV.